Hockey's going to help me today uh, show you how to check your grip. Please remember the only place to really check your grip is out of your setup position. If you check it from a standing position, you're going to you get some uh, misinformation. So, uh, Aki, let's have you uh, just stand tall. Extend your left hand to the with your grip right over here. Okay. So when you check the grip, you want to put two fingers on the club head. And you don't want to grip around the hosel. You'll keep it square. And you want to ask the person to be very relaxed. I'm going to show you in a moment how to check your own grip. So we pull on it. And you see if the club face changes. So this is from a standing tall position. This is not where you want to check your grip for the majority of players. So you're going to be checking. Aki, that stays pretty square. Now, <clears throat> Aki, I want you just to relax and push out toward me. Push. Okay, just keep pushing. Right, keep your arm relaxed. Now, that's it. Is that pretty staying pretty square? Yeah. Okay. From that position now, I want you to get a bad grip. Move your left hand over more on top and relax your arm. Now push out. And you can see now when Aki pushes out, that club face, when it brings it back to him, it looks square. When he pushes out, it closes. So, very simple way to check your grip. What we're going to do now is I'm going to show you what balance does to grip. So Aki's standing on one of his, we have the right balance uh, tape measure here, and you're on one of, one of your major ground force numbers, right? Yes. Okay. So once you get your left hand grip, which you normally use, we're going to check it over here and push, and you'll notice how square that stays. Now Aki, don't change anything and just step to the one, one inch narrower. So this is what one inch will do. Now push out, and when you push, see that face opens. So just by being out of balance impacts your club face angle. So it's not just about how to check your grip, it's also about how to be in balance and the importance of balance. So Aki, go ahead and uh, go back to your number. Okay, and this is Aki's good number. Again, we pull and he's absolutely square. So you can get misinformation if your stance width is changing when you're checking your grip. You want to make sure that you have your balance numbers, that you're standing in balance when you check your grip. Now we're going to back Aki up a little bit here so we get a better view and we're going to have him go into his posture. And I'll show you the, chief, the factors that impact grip. So let's back up a little bit, Aki. Now Aki has a very symmetrical setup. And what that means is that his thigh angle and his spine angle are identical. So his grip is going to be different. It's going to be a little different. So we're going to show you what his grip looks like in and out of balance. So Aki, if you'd go ahead and get into your setup there. Now if you are, if you have somebody that can do this for you, you have to be absolutely relaxed. Stay in that posture. Now Aki, bring me your grip right over here. So we're going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to pull on that club face. Very square, isn't it? So now we can check from this position Aki had a little more spine tilt. And now push. And where's the, where's the club face going? It's wanting to close now. 